Hi, Toby Hodges from Yachting World magazine, reporting from Grand Moche multi-hull show in France, and we are on board the Comet Cat 48. That behind us is the C-37. Been in production for about five years. They've built up a dozen or so. And this is the new flagship of the Catamaran range. And it's the Seacat 48. The first one here launched in October. And uh, anyone that's familiar with Comar yachts that they used to build and still do build the Comet line of monohulls, which are cruiser racers. It's a family built yard at one stage had 150 employees, built a lot of cruiser races in their time. But the catamarans they see as the future, and uh, yeah, this is a bit about the yard. They're in Fiumicino in Rome, and everything, they build everything in-house, essentially. So even the carbon for the dagger boards and the bowsprit, stainless steel, yeah, which also means they're skilled laborers that uh, and builders who will semi-custom a boat. This is not a high volume production yard. They'll build a couple of these a year, uh, but it does mean they can tailor it to owner's needs. This one, uh, while we're here, actually has the mast from a Comet 45 on it, because uh, it's a carbon mast, um, and they wanted to bring weight down. Aluminium boat boom, nice and low down. But yeah, they are performance cruising catamarans. Um, so more in, the, more in the spec of a sort of Outremer rather than um, your production catamarans like FPs and, and lagoons, etc. You won't be able to see from here, but hopefully we'll show you some sailing footage or pictures just how fine these bows are and how narrow the hull shape is. Now at 48 foot, you still get plenty of volume, uh, a payload capacity and space inside. Um, so the main features here to point out are um, where it's sailed from, the protection you get inside and potential performance benefits. So another big difference here, obviously no flybridge. Yes, you've got a fixed bimini over here, but it be because it stems from a yard that builds monohulls, Aft, aft helm steering. Um, monohull, monohull sailors is more familiar. Some people will think, oh, you know, you don't have the vis visibility you get from a standing up on deck and helming or up on a flybridge. But uh, the counter argument is being able to have that direct steering, more familiar, uh, um, more familiar to monohull sailors in terms of feel. But yeah, you have to look through the windows uh, when you're anchoring, etc. Or as you see on this one, it does have an internal helm station. The benefit though, is having your sheets to hand. I'll come around to the other winch on the other side to show you. Um, yeah, to have your sheets and traveler to hand. So everything controlled easily from those two helm positions. And while we're here, these massive carbon dagger boards 2.2 meters, they're looking at even extending, they're curved as well, looking at extending those another 40 centimeters for even more performance. This boat reportedly done 9.2 knots in eight knots tree wind with the code zero in flat water. You see the transoms there extending the waterline length. So yeah, again, almost right aft, no real protection over them, but you have got this winch will actually move forward to there um, so, it, so the sheets don't foul the steps here and you have main sheet and Genoa sheet controls and your traveller led right here and then I will take you in to show you the central winch which controls the halyards and reef lines so uh, internal powered winch here for your sheets and halyards with tail baskets for them there. 
and then that leaves this big area here which in this not so southern France weather you appreciate having a fully enclosed area here so all relaxation space essentially that behind the saloon and galley and then you can obviously come in here and have an internal helm station as I say it's, it's it is quite semi-custom you know this table can be a table however you'd like it this has obviously been done for this particular owner and it's more like a steering wheel of a car really and the dashboard of one but you know if you're coming into an anchorage or whatever and you want more visibility or if you're in the weather so, wet weather like we've got now you want to stand a watch room in here nice option to have this has quite a lot of weight added to it so um a lot of fixtures and fittings heavy light fittings you know non-marine type stove um but Massimo, the owner of the yard, thinks they can get this down to nine tons light displacement. So they're moving from vinalesa to epoxy infusion um, and uh, a lot of carbon reinforcement in it. But the quality, you can probably see, is very, very nicely done indeed. As I say, a lot, a lot of this is semi custom. So order it how you want it, but plenty of natural light, two ventilation hatches in those forward windows. And this yacht starts at 785,000 euros expert. So fully equipped with carbon mast and top end sails around a million euros. So despite these narrow hulls, Still a fair amount of volume. Not enough for an island berth, but that's a 2.2 meters by 1.6 meter berth. It can go further inboard as well. So this has the three cabin owner's hull layout. Plenty of space, really. And storage, nice feature having the leather handles everywhere. Still got squeaky spots, floorboards, mine. That nice styling and details. This head and walk in shower with a washing machine, I believe, in here. Yeah. And then further forward of that bulkhead, all the bulkheads composite. Um, it is stowage in the four peaks. So this is a Peru design, unlike the 37, which is Mark Lombard. And moving down into the port hull. This shows you what happens. Yeah, you take the berth more inboard. This will be lowered a bit as well. Again, nice leather detailing, headboards, hull liners, and uh, handles as well. And this is the feature that will show you just how narrow it is really just the space here between the daggerboard casings and a narrow entrance into this shared head and shower area in here and then i guess the standard will be taken this will be a bunk cabin more usually but they've uh, they've just gone for a fixed berth in here on this one 